manifest destiny. I like it. Oh, I've been like obsessed with this game, by the way. Oh, Belks. A shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Yeah. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. How much morphine Get is around? Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Oh my god. Appears we didn't get all of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was saying like... I don't know what makes you so stupid, drink. but it really I got the jitters Wow, again. whammon. I don't know who said that, but they gotta get some hands. <laughs> god damn it. We just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. I know, there's so many. Sorry, I was trying to change my outfit. A dead judge. It's not good. Where is my outfit, please? Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Mine comes in beautiful German lady singers. <laughs> you know I'm right. Alright, here we go. We need a new outfit, you guys. Like, we've been rocking the same things. I like this one. It matches me. Um, but yeah, I've been obsessed with this game. I'm supposed to be playing some lost legacy uncharted today but i was like i want to play la noir so bad um so future kaylee's probably going to be pretty mad at me right now but uh, i couldn't it's just so good and i feel like we're going to get to arson soon which sounds absolutely phenomenal and i gotta know and it's getting so so juicy especially with this relationship with uh roy you know last case it, it just was so good. I'm he backed me up. And throw my head away. Super weird. And I feel like we're gonna get some backstory soon. At least that's what people have told me that we're getting it. You can drive. Get some more backstory with Phelps, especially. Which we've got a little, but not like. Parker a lot. and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. Hmm. About time. <laughs> this wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Is it bad that I don't know who the heck they're talking about right now? I don't know who Parker and Green is. Um, but for those of you who watched the last episode, or maybe need a recap from the last episode, we got to see our old partners. Um, we got to see Stefan and um, Rusty. And it was beautiful, and I really hope we see him again. I doubt it, but... Why are we going to the jazz club? Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. What? <gasps> I just Back said. Again. I just said. We'll hear about the morphine. Oh. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. Oof. I know Eddie McGoldrick. Who do? He was a non com in my old unit. What? Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. What? Now there are no peace. <laughs> That's pretty you mind good. if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're Oh, ready. I bet you will. I was literally just saying, oh, Stefan, please. Please be my partner again. Please. I want to keep Stefan company. <laughs> I love him so much. Um, I was literally just saying, we got to see him last time, and I want to see him again. And look, there they are. My beautiful men. I almost said woman. <laughs> Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Jesus. Certainly sends a message. All right, so for those of you who might need a recap, uh, what they were talking about with the two other people in the band was one of the first cases we actually worked in homicide, not homicide, excuse me, vice, where um, basically they were transporting or distributing the morphine on the bottom of popcorn, like little tins, and uh then we traced the morphine back to mickey which is the guy we also saw in multiple parts lately he's supposed to be like a big drug lord guy so interesting that they're we're kind of going full circle here looks like nothing just some nice ciggies it's interesting that the morphine is like circulating a lot i thought we would like kind of go through all the drugs <laughs> in these cases we had like a slight break and went to um some 
nice to marijuana. But then we went right back to the morphine, so. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. <laughs> Stefan is striking out, my dude. But yeah, we also seen a lot. Well-maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Yeah. Oh, there's also like some betting thing going on. And we didn't really get to explore that because I was heckin' silly. And... What's that click? Oh. I was heckin' silly and, um, thought, oh, we'll get to it eventually. And then we just didn't get to go, which is unfortunate. Maybe I can rearrange them. What the heck? Neat trick. Whoa. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Look at all this goodies. The jazz club. Should follow up. Find anything Position. interesting? Isn't that the jazz club that the lady sings at? Kept his stash close at hand. Wow. Wow, okay. That's insane. Does the trumpet have anything? No? Okay. Wow. Yeah, I definitely thought that the doctor that we saw in the newspapers, too, was going to come back. And it looks like, what in the- Another day, another dollar. Oh, those are bullet- <sighs> What in the heck? But yeah, so this looks like this case is going to be extremely interesting. Because we're probably going to get a lot of connections with Cole's past, and the newspaper articles, and our case's advice. Which is going to be a lot, I'm sure. So I better pay pretty good attention. Alright, so this is the other guy. He didn't get shot as much, it looks like. We have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? It looks similar, but I don't know for sure. Maybe they all look similar, you know? Who knows? Okay. This is so sad. Took out the whole band. And one of Cole's old army buddies, which is an interesting development. Whoa, what's this? Hmm. A dozen packs to a carton. A hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. What do you want to bet it's not tobacco? Oh, I guess it is, because it won't let me look further than that. Two guns are missing. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. <laughs> They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? That's so weird. Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Mm, yeah. Let me look at the other stuff first, though. I think there was one body I haven't looked at. And I had to talk to the hostess, too. Here's our army buddy, I think. Can I look at him? Thank you. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city... I don't recognize him. But that's really sad. Poor guy. I just feel like the doctor's at the very tip of this with Mickey <laughs> and maybe Courtney and um, Kelso. I feel like we're going to run into a lot of friends. Or maybe not really friends, but qu acquaintances for sure. They didn't even try to crack the safe. What? So it was personal then. Interesting. Huh. 
I feel like this one's gonna be so juicy. I'm really excited. All right, Stefan, let me let me have at this beautiful woman. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Thank you. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Well, that's not my fault. <laughs> Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. She's so full of poop. <laughs> Um, I don't think I have anything I can prove it, though. But, I'm gonna play bad cop for sure. You wanna level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Hmm. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. What? Are you getting the picture? Is that today? Is that what you mean? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. <laughs> all right, I'll be nice. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. <laughs> Thank you for your help, man. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel like there's a lot more victims here than perps in these vice <gasps> Stefan, I gotta go, but it was beautiful seeing you. It was so nice. I hope I see you again later. I miss him so much. Looks like we're holding hands a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Aww. <laughs> Aww. We're holding hands. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just miss him so much, you guys. Stefan was the best partner. And he keeps popping up lately, and it's really cute, and I miss him so much. So much. Alright, I think we have a new location to go to. Uh, yeah. The blue room and the police station. I learned a couple cases ago just to go in order of the locations, so we'll go to the blue room first. Because I've learned my lesson. You know the way. You can drive. Which I'm excited, because I Where think are we the blue room... Is the the jazz room that's been in a few like cutscenes after the case and where um, the German lady is? I think she's gonna pop up again because they've been hinting that our character's been a little maybe not so faithful to his wife, which is big sad, but also not surprised. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think so. <laughs> what up? How y'all be? Excuse me. Yeah. I've got to sort through some unclaimed items right now. Okay, wow. Well, excuse you is correct. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> I knew you'd be back, baby. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. Jesus. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries under Stonefurter? I feel like that was I've not a nice word. I've thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Mmm. Mmm. Will you sit down? I'll think about it. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Hmm, maybe nothing yet, but he definitely wants. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Okay, let me review. Uh, I think we had this. But can I use that? Hmm. 
Hmm. I wish I knew what our questions are. Morphine overdose. Hold on. Victims. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll use this blue room pass for the next question. But I don't really know how to play this. I'm gonna try good cop. I don't. I hope it's right. I'm not looking okay. to arrest users. I'm after the supply. You just don't get it, do you? Some people can't live without heroin. Damn it. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, well, now I know this one for sure. I don't believe you. You knew these men. And how would you like to prove that, detective? Because they've been here. Boom. You're out of your depths, what? detective, and you're asking the wrong questions of the what? wrong people. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with you. That should have been right. Goodness. Ugh. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, cold feathers. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day, you'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. What? Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. What are we doing? Oh, no. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Phelps, please, your wife. Think of your wife and child. What in the fuck? I'm tailing the German lady? Why? Oops. I'm innocent, I swear. <laughs> What is going on? I still think it's the doctor, right? Because in the newspaper we saw a few cases ago, he took the morphine off of Courtney's hands, apparently. So the doctor's definitely in on this, for sure. The question is, how in and how high up is he? Whoa, oh, Jesus, sir. Only one of us can drive like a maniac, and it ain't you. It's me. These people! <laughs> oh, these people, how dare they drive in front of the road in front of me? This is my road. I own it. Because I'm the law. Alright, if this gets like kinky and Phelps cheats on his wife, man, I'll be pissed. He best not. We haven't met them, so it's like. A little hard. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Bro, if I get any closer, she's gonna suspect. Oh, she's over there. JK. I thought it was the other car. <laughs> Phelps, this is called stalking. It's illegal. Okay, she forgot. really bad feeling about this.
Come on, Phelps, please don't make me feel right. I don't want to be right about this. Boy, don't do it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Roy's like, my man. <laughs> Aw, now he's gonna hold that over us, though. So we were following the German lady, and Roy was following us. Did we cheat on our wife? That's what it looked like. Like, we didn't see nothing, but that seemed super suspicious. I mean, we're wearing the same clothes. But we always wear the same clothes unless I change my outfit, so. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which mm -hmm. table? Number three, if you'll follow me. I can follow myself. He's dull as dishwater, but I'm not with him for the conversation. <laughs> LAPD, we have some questions Hi, regarding. Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. <laughs> You're a funny guy, so Roy. So good. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. We shouldn't have something earned like it. That. All right, have we to finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? What is happening? This case is all over the place. All right, I, I don't feel good about this. We have nothing to tie them to anything. At all. So... Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Mm -hmm. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. You are lying. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. What does that even mean? We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, I know you know. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. Mm. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Mm -hmm. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. What is going on? That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Whores have been around since the Bible. 
Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. I can't figure out if Roy is actually a good cop or not. His jokes are freaking fire, by the way, so even though he's a total dick. The They're really good. But I have a feeling that Roy was probably a good cop. Harry. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, anytime. But there was just so much corruption. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. Hmm. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor smoke. Interesting. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 club. Mm -hmm. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. What is that? So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 club? Mm. We need the gun. Which I think is this one right here. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 club. Who had it? Albert Redding. Excuse me, sorry. Albert Redding. Okay, and then we had the crate right there. This is the crate we recovered. I guess the morphine. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of LA. That's a lot. Okay. <gasps> Courtney <gasps> and Jack. He's not going to say anything about that? Bro, look. Courtney and Kelso. That's huge. He's got nothing to say about it. All right, I'll click the last one. Boop. Enough to arm three companies. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must there have finally go. shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. What in the they want F? Every car. Go! This is getting so juicy. Get any on the side. Did you want to see Kelso? I like Kelso like way more than our character. He seems like a really cool guy. Yeah, the bomb took us. I bet this is where we get our beautiful reunion. Right, let's go. I have a feeling this is the last vice case too, because this case is insane. You drive. I need to go over the case let's go notes. Go shooting. Fine. Where are See we what going? up? I think it's Courtney. Well, I guess Kelso didn't technically probably wasn't involved in the actual. Um, Stealing of all that stuff. I know he got involved later when Courtney all asked him to. Officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 so maybe North there's Bronson one more person and that helped Courtney. And was it McGoldrick? Is that the other name of the guy? Aw, shit. Oh my god, why? Killed an officer. He's toast. Alright, there's Find a way up there and stop absolutely no way I can just go full send it on here. So let's try to find a way to get close inside the building. Shooter has a machine gun. He's emptied two clips into the bus. The nearest we can make out is those buildings. I'm wide open here. 
Oh, he's gonna murder me. Think I can make it? Full send it. Go! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. What? I can't get in? I thought for sure. No way. You're covered, Bell. Maybe there's somewhere else I get up. How do I get up there to beat his ass? Here we go. Here we go. Yes. What? Alright, game. There it is. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get him from behind. That's what you said. But like, for real. Why is this guy just murdering random people on the bus? That's fripped up, sir. LAPD, drop the gun now! Oh, else. Why are we even giving a warning? Fuck that. I'm gonna kill this man. He's a murderer of innocent people. Where is he? Okay, 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 okay. You're covered, Phelps. Got him. That was so clean. Mmm. Nice. I wonder if it's another army buddy. I hope it's not Courtney. I really like Courtney. But like that is messed up. For what? What's up, brother? Let's go check it out. Is it our buddy? Do we know him? He doesn't look familiar to me. Is he familiar to you guys? Phone number and restaurant table. Oh. Oh. That doesn't look good. The Mickey guy was on restaurant number. Table number three, excuse me. Restaurant number. I bet this is another army gun. Yep. It's one of the BARs. What in the hell is going on? Why would they act now? Does it make any sense? God. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? <laughs> it's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. So maybe they targeted the bus because they needed to kill him to silence him. Hmm. Is his name Felix? Alright, let me look at my evidence. I don't really think I have anything. I can point to him. So he got a hit on him. Oof, sir. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Mm-hmm. All right, come on now. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. Jesus Christ. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Mm -hmm. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. Mm. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Interesting. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? All right, the question is, do I do accuse and be like, well, there's a hit on you, so you probably know. I'm probably going to do that. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Bruh, why would he have your name on there, then? Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? 
Oh, there's a weird sass there. Be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Oh my god, there's so much salt there, and I need to know. Pretty cool customer. <gasps> yes. He's been under fire before. Yes. You buying a story? No. Not for a minute. But I get to see Kelso, and I am so freaking pumped. Can you drive to this one? Uh. All right, where to? You know, I don't know, actually. It says to find... Okay, I need to do the phone first. I said to find Kelso, but it didn't give me a place to go, so let me... Call my beautiful lady friend to tell me where Kelso is. Alright, we got an address for Kelso. This reunion's gonna be freaking fire. I'm so excited. They've been leading this stuff up. With all the newspapers and all the morphine. That was probably something You're to behind the wheel. Courtney. We but now you see going? Kelso. And based on the flashbacks, Kelso has every reason to like freaking hate us because we took credit for basically his work. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. Mm -hmm. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. Makes sense. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. Yikes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. It's fair. Like, um, what I was saying, the silver star that Phelps got, I'm pretty sure it was all due to Kelso. And Phelps really didn't do shit but, like, hide and wait for everyone to die. So, I'm sure there's... An obscene amount of bad blood between these two. Just not only for that, but for like everything. Like Phelps is basically shit on Kelso Hello, Jack. the whole time. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. <laughs> Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. Why is that a bad move? How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, makes sense. Kels looks heckin' suave, though, in that suit. He looked good. He knows what it's about. He's just too smart. This is gonna be very hard. Because he's really smart. Okay. Um. We know he was on the heist. So, well not, we don't know he's on the heist. But we know he was on the ship. I don't think he was a part of, um, the heist itself. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I don't have high hopes. I'm doing well. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Alright, well, I know it does, but, like, do I have any proof? Is this enough? Oh, man, I really don't know. All right, let me look at the log real quick. <laughs> what did he say? All right, so I asked, do you know that there's a gang war going around in LA trying to recover the stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. We know that's not true. Um, but do I have evidence that directly ties him to it? No, but I could play bad cop for sure. But I'm wondering if I can use the evidence that said that the sixth division are a part of it but just because the sixth division is a part of it doesn't mean he's a part of it um shit i'm gonna go bad cop please be right i'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story boys but the truth is i don't give a fuck <laughs> you were on the boat kelso what happened do you really think a bunch of marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town 
Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> that was really good. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Man, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. He maybe he didn't know that. It's quite possible he didn't know that. Um. But do I play bad cop? He looks like he's being pretty sincere that he doesn't know that. Alright, I'm playing good cop. Please be right. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night. Oof. No, I didn't. What a way to tell a guy. Jesus. Alright. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. He looks like he didn't know. I mean, he's blinking like a fucking lot, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't really know how to play this. I kind of want to go like bad cop. Damn it. You wouldn't know why Eddie McGoldrick had three of them. The goddamn fool. Shit. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. Alright. I don't know anything about the robbery. Don't misdirect this shit. Alright, he definitely knows something. Can I... Can I use this? He has to know because he was on the boat. You're lying. I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved or you know who mm -hmm. is. You calling me a liar, Cole? Yeah, I am. I hope you have something to back that up. I won't let you hide behind your rank any longer. Ooh, bro. That was freaking deep. Well, I know he was on there. Does that count? Shit, does that count, you guys? <laughs> he looks pissed. Um, I know he was on the boat. Does that count? It keeps telling me to get out of the accusation. Shit. Alright, let me look at the... <laughs> I know you were there. Okay, what was my question? What do you know about the robbery? Either Vala or know who it is. Well. Oh, God. I need to know. Man, I don't... I know that he was on... He was there. Right? So he got to know something. I just feel like maybe I should go bad cop. But now I'm confused, you guys. Oh my gosh, help. Um, is this enough? I'm gonna go with it. You can tick me oh, off your it. little list. I'm that was involved. wrong. Cool. Jack, we just want information. I'm gonna give it. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump. With his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Damn, we know, we know he wasn't directly involved. But we know he got involved. Oh, dude, How this many more can friends so going to get plugged today? Probably all of them. I just hope Courtney doesn't die. I know Courtney's in some deep shit, but I like really like him. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate the each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Mm -hmm. I feel like even if we got every question right, he still wouldn't give us anything. Um, maybe I'm just saying that to make myself feel better. But, I don't know. He's a pretty tough nut to crack. And, um, if, even if he was going to spill some information, he definitely wouldn't do it for us. Because he fucking hates us. 
They there just it is, walked though. up and shot the man. Oh man. Two of them officers. They went that oh, way. I hate you. Go on, get after him. I'll do my best. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It's way too close. Won't work. He's a tough customer. It's no good. We need to get closer. Boys, I'm doing my best. Getting close and steer him off the tar. How about now? I can't hit a target that isn't there, fellas. Well, get a better shot then, because this is the best I can do. Oh, Jesus. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Let me spin I'll out. try for the tires. Keep your foot down. I know, because then I'll spin out. Run, 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 run. Hit like that. How close that was. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Oh, Jesus. Hit him. Clear Jesus, this asshole off the road. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> what a fucking move. Oh, perfect. No people. This is the best. Where'd he go? Guys are gonna go quiet. Open fire! Wait, where'd he go? Get off the car. Get out of the car. They, they get out. Oh, damn! Hell yeah! Get me up on this. Find some cover. Mm. I was hoping we could do like some really epic construction moves, like go like jump over the holes and stuff, but that was really cool too. I like that a lot. As these more my buddies. It's kind of making me sad. I don't even know them. Oh, there's a newspaper. Okay, we'll look at the bodies for this body first. Not both, because they'll cut me up. But one. Mm, that guy looks familiar. That guy looks like the guy from the um um polar ice one the polar ice company case we did he looks like one of the um owners i swear i swear it's that guy cohen is meeting with sheldon tonight oh no not sheldon i really like him i feel like he got really taken advantage of and poor guy got mixed up in stuff way above his pay grade and he's actually a good man. Oops. No, I don't need to see him again. Let me see his other code pocket. Thank you. We got... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Oh, well, Sheldon... And Jack aren't though. Why aren't they on there? Oh jeez. Four other people might get murdered today. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. But first, this newspaper. <laughs> A vice scandal? What? We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. <gasps> Mayor? God damn it district attorney who is this guy and what does he want Horrell? The name's roy earl detective administrative vice aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess oh i think that the orders regarding brenda come down not up mayor i have a human interest story it involves a certain lapd cop a hero from the war who has let his beautiful wife and kids down who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. Oh, God. It would be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. 
So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Oh no. Ooh, we're gonna have a bad day tomorrow, that's for sure. Ooh, that is so rough. But like, also, if it's right, I'll feel bad for Phelps because he fucked up. Can I look at this body? No, we don't care about this body. All right. Wow, Roy. I want to say I'm surprised, but honestly, I'm really not. Let me look at the gun real quick. There you go. Roy. He's even in his same suit. He just did that. Probably before we even got together today. What a dick. But not surprised. At all. Why is there just a hat here? Sir, you lost your hat. I would pick it up for you, but I don't think I can. Okay. Can you drive to this one? Right, Where are we going? The Chinese theater. That sounds cool. Oh god. Phelps gonna have such a bad day tomorrow. <laughs> taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. Mm. Makes sense. I mean, I want to feel bad for Phelps, but like also he cheated on his wife, and um, I do not condone adultery. All right. So. Oh wow. Oh, hell yeah, we caught him right in the air. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Excuse me, sir. Oh, God, I almost killed that guy. How many chase scenes? I can't scenes? take the shot from here, Cole. Shush, you crazy bitch. Get in bitch. close and steer him off the tar. Ah, sorry. God, he didn't die. Good. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Oh, my God. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road. I hate when they yell at me like this. Keep it steady. It's already to bust his tires. Got him. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. <sighs> oh, ho. LAPD, put your hands they in the air. toast. I rammed him into the tree. That was awesome. What? They're done. Done. Get out. What's going on? Why did he have to murder that guy? That was so cold. Oh my god. I think the game glitched. No, he did it on purpose. Bro, he was. N that was savage as shit. I don't know if that was a glitch or not, but oh my god. If it wasn't. Ooh, that was so savage. Oh my god. Damn, dude. His blood still on the sidewalk. You cold hearted son of a bitch. Jesus. I mean, I know he just killed a lot of people, but like, still. GD. Alright. You can drive. Let's hopefully Fine. save this guy. We'll see. We definitely didn't make it in time for that last one, but we were closer, so. We might have a chance. Aw, oh, yeah, right in 10. In the post office too? Jesus. Oh, I bet those are Mickey's men. Oh. oh my god, they're killing everybody. Oh, so we got three guys maybe? Easy. That's good. Say hello, sir. Stay down. I'm moving in, boys. Excuse me, sir. Alright, I'm moving in. Stay in I cover. suck at this whole cover thing in this game. Snake can't get the hang on it. Right, where's his friend? I 
see him. Nice. This one is insane. <laughs> oh my god. Is that guy dead or what? That was a lot of noises. Oh, he's still breathing. Barely. Oh, but he's out. Tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. It was worth a try. Oh my god, guys. God. That was a lot. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. <gasps> Polar Bear Ice Company. You really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? I don't know. I thought I'd say no, but I don't know. Phelps is, um, the more we learn about Phelps, the less I think he, um, is as good a guy as he portrays himself to be. I think he's just kind of a coward that's trying to make up for his cowardness. But once a coward, maybe always, you know? Who knows? Yeah. Can I look at this? No? What well, now? To go to the ice company again? No, nope, there's still stuff here. Alright, let me look around. Oh, yeah, there's a guy back here. Mm, don't recognize him. What do you got? Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Of course he is. Courtney's not an idiot. He knows how to play the game, at least by now. I think his biggest mistake was trusting the doctor. Majewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Are they? Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? I don't know. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation. Oh, where's that coming from? Roy? <laughs> Can I go in here? No. Okay, I think I just need to go. Yep, to the meeting place. Oh, guys, this is gonna be so good. All right, come on, trader, let's go. Sold me out. Asshole. I'm not surprised, but it kind of hurt a little bit. You know the way. You can drive. All right, where to? We're going to where everything is about to go down. And I'm so excited. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. Oh, you sure it's what? Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. I, I kind of agree that, um... Well, actually, I feel like Courtney's smart enough to know it's a trap, right? Like, he knew the first time he met with Mickey, at least, that he brought Kelso. Like, he knew. So, I don't know, man. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm worried. This isn't going to end well for anybody. <gasps> oh, that was Kelso Kill for sure. Oh, I see, I see. Throw out the gun. Where's the other guy? Oh god, there's lots of bitches. Alright. Let's get out of here. Is that a full moon? Oh, hell yeah. Oops, oh god. No, 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 no. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Not really, but Jesus. Are you right, sir? What is he doing? You crazy. But also badass. I'll give you that, Roy. You're pretty cool. Still now. Stay down. They're making a run for it after them. 
can't hit him from this distance. Okay, sorry, game. Don't yell at me. Shit. Give me some goddamn cover. You're fine. Do I need my help? Find some cover! You're fucking dumb! Ow! Stop it! Alright, he's doing an asshole. Move, I've got I don't allow this abuse. Bitch. <laughs> I'm finally figuring out the cover thing I'm after like what? 12 cases? Carl Levin King. Levin K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. What? Oh, damn. That's not correct protocol, Levin K. I'll take that as a roger. <laughs> Carl Levin King en route. Oh, this is going to be so freaking good. You can drive. Hell yeah. Do we know where we're going? Oh, you know where we're going, baby. This is the moment I've been waiting for ever since I realized Courtney was with Cole's fucking unit and Kelso oh I almost don't want it to end because it's so good but it looks like the last new paper I don't know if I missed one I really hope I didn't but like now all the main like leaders of the police department and the judicial system are corrupt too great Roy, in oh this guy Oh, I loved him. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. <laughs> Phelps like, that yeah, right, mother. <laughs> How's it taste, Roy? Uh, I'm gonna fail this interview, you guys. I just know it. Guy gave his wife a right, Where's my boy? <gasps> oh, and the doctor. Oh my God, this is gonna be insane. Sheldon, who would be worse? Is this your attorney? No, it's his no doctor. detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine wow. from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Ouch. Jesus Christ. All right, I have so many things, and I am so worried about freaking this up. Okay. Do we have anything to tie to Courtney directly? Okay, that's pretty big. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know where I can use that, but that's really good. Planned a meeting between Mickey and... Okay, so I have two of those? Yeah. I have two. Oh, man. You're Stare screwed. all you want. I have nothing to hide. That's a lie, but all right. Let's go. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult. Considering they're all dead. Jesus. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, Lying yes, I can. Me. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up or I go after Jack Ford. And how do you prove that, Cole? Because the, one of the guys in the shooter said your name, boy. Jack isn't scared of you, Phelps. None of us were. We just followed your orders. What? That was wrong. What do you mean? No, no, no. That's wrong. Wait a minute. How is that wrong? How is that wrong? You're lying to me. What? Ugh. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Okay. I definitely have this one, right? So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick? Driscoll and Beckett to get to you. I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? This gotta be right. I have two notes. 
that the shooters says that they're meeting, right? Two different ones. It's got to be right. Right, please? We finished here? What? What do you mean? Have you finished, detective? What? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. That doesn't make any sense. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. What? Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? What? what? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Uh-oh. Good to see you. Uh -oh. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. Oh. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. Excuse me, how was those evidence not freaking clutch to tying him to the case? I don't you understand. You certainly had us full, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. What are heart. you talking about? What is going oh. on? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badge and gun. Why? Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. Left. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. Oh. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? He's not denying it. What? No. Oh my god. I mean, it looked that way, but like, goodness. What now? Oh god. Are we finally gonna meet his wife? That's nice. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. <laughs> Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Oh my God, Marie's so pretty too. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? Oh what my. What are you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. What a douchebag. Get him out. Get him out. I don't play as Cole anymore. God, I called that too, man. That's rough. He's gonna pretend to shoot him. Are you gonna go to your mistress, Cole? That's rough. Come on. God, I really don't want to be right about that, but that's... And he apparently loves her? Then get a divorce. Like, why? I don't understand cheating, man. I just... I cannot comprehend it. If you don't love the person you're with anymore, whether you're married or dating or whatever, just leave. There's no reason to hurt someone that level unless you hate them. Like, if you hate your wife, I guess, it's the most savage thing you could do besides maybe murder her. Like, it's just so disrespectful. And this is a person you're supposed to love enough to be in a relationship with and you just completely shit on them. Mm. Oh, that makes me so mad. Oh, arson is a demotion? What? I was so excited for arson. And I was like, hell yeah, but it's a demotion. I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh my goodness. 
that was rough you guys that was rough on so many levels all right let's see if there's any extra sauce all right there's no extra sauce um wow so much just happened in that episode um oh my god we'll talk about the big elephant in the room uh i called that shit <laughs> i am so upset that i was correct that and they went that angle in the game um man i can like i think i've said this in other games before i think especially in the house of ashes i can't do cheating man like i can forgive a lot of stuff but like cheating man there's just no no reason for that absolutely none if you don't love your partner anymore just freaking leave man you don't need to hurt someone that deep and um like being cheated on like it's so hard to recover from that and it just damages a person's confidence and self-esteem and self-worth and it's just un an unnecessary thing that doesn't need to happen like man up say you're done and that way we can all move on and not have be so emotionally damaged all right um damn that i didn't like our character anyway but like that was something else phelps is a coward he is a cheater and he's a liar man and he's fake man he's not a hero of war he stole that from kelso he's just a weak bitch i'm sorry i don't mean to be mean but he is and that was really rough uh it's really cool though to see courtney and kelso not in the newspaper but actually in the main game that was really neat the doctors definitely pull in Courtney's strings, which hurts my heart because I feel like Courtney is probably a, a really cool guy. And man, he's just in a really, really, really bad situation. And um, man, I don't know. I don't know where this is going to go now. I'm sure, I don't know. Will Cole be redeemed? Can he redeem himself? Do I give enough of a shit to care if he redeems himself? Honestly, not really. Not really. That was the last nail in the coffin for Cole for me and um if this game wasn't so heck and fire I probably would stop playing just because that makes me so mad so mad um but damn what Phelps just did makes Roy look like a good cop that's how bad that was for me <laughs> um but anyway my rant's over I'm, I apologize I, I just can't stand I can't stand cheaters man I can't stand it but anyway so crazy case uh we are getting promoted we're getting well not promoted but demoted to arson which honestly i'm pretty pumped about because arson sounds really neat and really cool and arson is our last desk so we probably only have a few more cases until the end of the game which is a very bittersweet feeling i absolutely am enduring this game it is so freaking fire each case has been amazing and the story development has done an amazing job at developing at a nice pace and especially in the last couple ones of melding the newspaper story and Cole's past and the current events together. Um, so anyway, I'm very excited to see what happens, but for today, that is it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this case. If you did, go leave a like and comment below. And of course, subscribe to see this gameplay and other gameplay in the future. But other than that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.